In the beginning of 2024, I made a personal goal of mine to read 50 books this year. 2023 was not my best reading year and I want to actively read more books. So I, I set a goal, 50 books this year, and we're going to see how, how far we can get with that. So every month I'm going to kind of highlight that journey and we're going to see my progress and where we get to that goal of 50 books a year. Now, for some people, 50 books might be a lot. For some, 50 books might not be that much. I know if you're an avid reader, 50 books might not be that much. Um, that's like a book a week, you know, that's a sweet spot. I think it's pretty average. So I think it's a it's an achievable goal, which is really the main reason why I set that goal. So for, for this video, I'm going to just highlight the books that I read this month, and then we're gonna see how far we are towards that goal at the end of the video. The first book that I read, I read two books. I reread two books this year to do uh, book reviews that I really wanted to do. So the first book review I did was for The Adventures of Captain Underpants uh, by Dave Pilk. One of my one of my favorite books. Absolutely love this book, and um, it's about two boys named George and Harold who they turn their principal into a superhero named Captain Underpants. But he's more trouble as a superhero than anything else. So uh, and it kind of just highlights that adventure. Love this book. This is a great book. I did a review on this book. Um, you can find it on my page. I'll put the link in the description actually, just to make it easier. But Captain Underpants was one of the first books. I I read this year. So that's one book down. So the second book I read this year was another reread. And that book was a series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket. My all time favorite series. Wanted to reread this book so I can give an up to date, up to date book review, which I also did. You can find that one on my page too. But I really wanted to reread this book because I remember how much I, I loved this book when I was a, when I was a kid. Book is about three orphans named uh, Sonny, Klaus, and Violet who lose their family, who lose their mom and dad and their house in a fire. And then they go live with Count Olaf, who is the villain of the story. And I don't want to give it away too much, but, but yeah, this book, I will love this book. I will never say anything bad about this. It. One of my favorite books of all time. And it was an absolute, it's funny when you reread books as an adult that you did when you were a kid and they still hit like this book is still amazing. I still love this book and I enjoyed every moment of it. If you've never read this book or Captain Underpants, like these two books are classics. Do yourself a favor. It doesn't matter if you're five years old, if you're 10, if you're 50, like these books are dope and they're classics and really easy to read too. Not, nothing too complicated where you got to think too much but yeah love this book um series of unfortunate events this is my second book of the year we're making good progress right so we we've already done two books for the month of january but it doesn't stop there because i've actually i've actually been pretty busy so another book that i read this is a gift from uh one of my colleagues and it is animal farm by george orwell but it's the graphic novel version and i'm i'm counting graphic novels because they are books no matter how easy they are to read you know it's a lot of mostly pictures but this is a really good book it's a about basically uh, pigs and other animals on a farm they run the the farmer out and then they start running things on the farm these animals and then the pigs kind of end up just like the farmer you know so it's a it's a really twist it, it's really kind of twisted it's and it really shows that sometimes the oppressed when given that option can become the oppressor and i think that is a is a pretty powerful message so this was the third book i read and i really love this i finished this book in a few days it's a graphic novel i didn't think it was going to take me too long to read it but really love this book and i definitely recommend it so the fourth book that i read this year so far month of january is miles morales spider-man really like this um i picked it up mainly because i love spider-man and because jason reynolds is my favorite author right now not of all time but he's my favorite author at the moment um his other books long way down all american boys are two of my go-to whenever i need to recommend a book for somebody so if he wrote uh, a version of spider-man specifically miles morales i was definitely gonna read it it's not new but i had just gotten around to reading it 
love this book love the characters i love that there wasn't a spider-man backstory like they kind of they spoke about it and they, they they got into it but i didn't need to see miles get his superpowers i i, I already knew the story so it wasn't too it, it's good that it wasn't there because it didn't prolong the actual uh story moving forward which i really love what i didn't love about this book i really felt like it took too long to get into the main conflict everything was interesting the characters were were complex yet relatable i made those connections and the story does move forward it's not it's not a stagnant story but i just wish that i just wish that the main conflict came it, it came really late like later than you like it's it, it wasn't as normally the, the 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 main conflict you know you you at least understand what it is in the beginning towards the middle of the book i know he he had a, a issue with his teacher but i was not expecting i was not expecting what happened and i i really kind of don't mean that in a good way but i love the book don't don't get it twisted the book was still fire and i would definitely read it again last but not least um and i saved this book last for two reasons one it was the last book that i've read this month but two this book is this book is fire and it's uh, a good girl's guide to murder uh by holly jackson let me tell you about this book i'm definitely gonna do a book review i read this book in maybe three days and that's fast for me because you know i go to school i'm a teacher i i write i want to have my own personal life if i can sit down and read a book that is over three, almost three, 350 plus pages in three days. That means that I read over a hundred pages a day. That's how good this book is. I could not put this book down. I, the moment I, I opened it, I was like, yo, I want to know who it's, it's a mystery, right? It's about uh, a girl named Pip who for her senior capstone project in high school, she wants to reopen a murder case that was solved five years ago, I believe. And so she goes around investigating people and it takes her down this whirlwind of suspects, like recovering this information. Then we find out who the killer is, or so we thought, then we find out who the actual killer is. It was, this book took me on twist and turn. This is one of the best, probably the best mystery whodunit book I've ever read. And I don't take that light, I don't take that lightly because I love mystery books. One of Us is Lying was another great one, but this one, this one was way not only was I, my brain was working. I'm like, who's the killer? I need to know who the killer is. And I was actually satisfied with who the killer was. A lot of times when I read mysteries, the journey's good. But then when we get to the the killer, I feel like a lot of times it's a cop out or, you know, this person might've committed suicide. Everybody killed this person. It, you know, it just, it lacks a, a certain level of practicality to it. But this book, I was very happy with the outcome. I was thrilled with the journey i can't wait to read the sequel i have i bought all i have the the sequel and the third in the trilogy there's a trilogy i'm reading one of us is next right now and after one of us is next i'm probably gonna jump right back on this train because i i want to know where the story goes but just to do a quick recap a good girl's guide to murder miles morales spider-man that's two Animal Farm by George Orwell is three. The Adventures of Captain Underpants is four. And A Series of Unfortunate Events is five. So for the month of January, I read five books. And if I go at this rate, I will hit my mark of 50 books by the end of the year. So I'm really happy with my progress and hopefully I can keep the momentum going and not slow down. That being said, thank you for joining me in this January wrap up. My name is Wes with Supreme Book Dealer. If you want more content that is book related, please like this video, subscribe to this channel. You can also leave a comment. Everything is much appreciated. Thank you so much for just taking the time out to watch this video. Really means a lot. Um, wanna encourage and cultivate a reading community and just get more people to love books in the same way that I do. So that being said, have a great day, be well, and always remember to keep reading. Peace, see you next time.